Hi guys, today in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to take custom inputs in Syllabulet. Now, there are some times uh, when we can directly use or take input from the user, like uh, passing here, email, uh, password, anything like that, username, and few numbers. In the last tutorial, we also learned how to take input of CC. But there may be certain things which we cannot take input from the user, okay? So, what we have to do in that case? Uh, in that case, we can uh, take custom inputs and we'll learn how to take custom inputs. Actually, it's very really easy. All you have to uh, do is just create a new config. And here you will see a few options like manager, stacker, settings and in This will be hidden in your config initially. But what you have to do, uh, just uh, next to the settings, you will find a drop down. Here you will get the input. Okay. So just open it and there will be a new tab here like this. Here you have to uh, click on add input, you, you type your question, like I want the user to enter a few details, like enter zip code, okay, enter your zip code, then here it will ask by which variable name you want to save it, so you can just type zip or zip code or whatever you want, then you can give some default value if you want, okay, like this. Then I want to ask the user whether you want to search like uh, do you want to search text and here you can just uh, give the name like search text okay and user will have to uh, type here uh, yes or no so I will just type default value give no okay so it's totally up to you and then i'll just create a new uh, input and here i will type enter search term like this so here we will just store it like search term and default answer can you can leave it empty too if you want now let's just come back to the stacker if you just hit on the start it will ask you a few questions like enter your zip code if you want to keep it uh, this thing you can just keep it otherwise you can just change it to something new then uh, you have to expect us uh, uh, accept it so here it's asking do you want to search text uh let's just say yes okay and then you have to accept it and enter search term like i'll just type hello i want to let's say search for some uh text in the log okay so in that case you can use this kind of inputs it's totally up to you you can just take any kind of input so see uh, here it's saying zip and search text and search term once you get the source code you have to use the script or you can directly use the variables zip uh, I hope how to you when you how to use them like uh, you can do something like this uh, where is a parser okay uh, in the source you will no no this uh, just do it. the parser will uh, simply parse data uh, what we have to do uh, we have to use custom script okay. Uh, we have already learned how to do things like the, using the custom in, uh, strips. There you can use the variables like inside envelope bracket, just type your variable name. Uh, you can match like uh, uh, like this. Let me show you. Uh, utility, uh, no interrupt script. You can just type if search uh uh text is uh, equal to we have already learned all of this i hope you uh, remember in the previous tutorials yes uh sorry yes so in that case you can log something you can do something on next and then you can do something let's say uh, blah 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 and then you can just uh, close your if okay we've already learned all these things i hope uh, how yeah the basic task was to uh, learn how to take custom inputs okay so let's just remove it 
after that you can just uh, continue like normal let's say i have a url here and i will just visit it http request i'll just visit it okay start accept 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 and then it will just log let's wait so i've got the logs and here i want to find the value of nonce so i'll just type nonce uh, there are multiple nonce but what i want is login nonce this one i want this value let's say okay so i'll simply parse it i'll just copy till here i'll click on plus uh, you i don't want this now click on plus parse i'll use the la method uh, on the left side, uh, left of this number is this string and on the right side I have this string uh, this string here you can just give it nonce name any variable name doesn't matter so accept accept and accept and it will just uh, go to the URL and find nonce value for me so I hope you got the basic understanding of the uh, how to take uh, custom inputs if you cannot take it from here. So this is it for this video guys. I hope you learned something new. Let's meet in the next tutorial.